Hey, good morning everyone. How are you doing? Just on my way to work today, so gonna get to work for 10 o'clock. I like working for an agency because I always get to go somewhere different. Go to different places, travel around, meet different people. I like it, I like it that way. It's just, it's more interesting for me, it's more fun. But anyway, regarding the ongoing Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk situation, I did try telling you, it's obvious that I'm right. If you look at the way Tyson Fury's talking, I haven't watched any interviews, because honestly, I can't be bothered. I've been around boxing a long time. Watching interviews is boring now, especially when you know people clearly don't want to fight. But I've seen a couple of clips on Twitter. For me, I just rather watch clips, just little 20, 30 second clips. There's no way I'm going to sit down and watch an IFL interview or fight hype or behind the... It's just not worth my time. I've got things to do on my way to work now, for example. And, you know, I'm not going to sit around and watch other people talking about their lives. I'm, I'm not really that interested. As I say, especially when... Just watch out for cars. Yeah, car coming at me. <laughs> Especially when I know, like obviously as a fighter, your job is to fight. But when it's obvious that people don't want to fight, and when I say people, I'm talking about Tyson Fury, it's obvious the man doesn't want to fight. So why would I, why would I be interested in watching long interviews? It's just pointless information, it's going around in circles. But anyway, so, I mean look, what can I say? It's obvious he doesn't want to fight, I mean I don't know why. He's beating Klitschko and Wilder on multiple occasions. So, I mean, what is, what is all the reluctance to fight Usyk for? Swearing, getting emotional, you know, coming up with all these crazy conditions. Uh, no rematch clause, and he was telling him, for example, he said Usyk has to take 70, sorry, Usyk has to take 30%. Well, Usyk's got more belts, I think he should get more money than that. But to be fair, I understand Tyson's the, commercial, the bigger commercial draw. But they should just have this conversation in private. I mean, if you're serious, just get it sorted out. But Tyson Fury's got a history of doing this. And my guess is, he's reluctant to fight him. I mean, the best way I can explain it, I'm not trying to show off and I'm not trying to patronise people. But I have had fights and I've sparred a lot of people. So I've got an insight into boxing. I've got a valid opinion. I can only guess, I think the likeliest situation the likeliest explanation sorry i'm not saying tyson's scared of him that's the wrong word to use i just think he thinks Usyk's more trouble than he's worth so for me i'll give you an example who's a good example if i was offered a fight with deji in two weeks deji's ksi's younger brother deji i'll fight him in two weeks ksi because of the size difference i'd say no not in two weeks i need more time and if you take someone like Tommy Fury, don't get me started on Tommy. Tommy, I'm not going to say anything bad. Tommy looked good during that Jake Paul fight. He did actually look good, I'm not going to deny that. I'm not fighting Tommy Fury in two weeks. It's just too much to, it's too much to ask for. You know, not in two weeks. So this is what I'm trying to say. Maybe Fury's looking at it like that. He just thinks the guy's more trouble than he's worth. I, I need to cross the road. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of cars. Uh, let me just take a risk. Uh, yeah, cheers, cheers. So I think maybe Tyson Fury is looking at it like that. The guy's more trouble than he's worth. And someone like Jake Paul, again, I wouldn't fight, not in two weeks. If they said to me, oh, Michael, someone's dropped out. We want you to fight uh, Deji in two weeks. Like Deji, I would. Fuzzy Tube, I would. Uh, what are some of these other guys' names? There's that little one, Dean the Great. The thing about Dean the Great, he's in a lower weight class than me. I'd fight him, but I'm not losing weight to fight that guy. No way. If he wants to come up, I'll fight him, but I'm not coming down in weight. And, you know, do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to give you an example for me, the way I think. I don't mind fighting people, but I, need, I, an I have to analyse the situation. I have to analyse the situation before I take a fight on. And someone like Dean the Great, just, you know, search, search his name if you want. He's physically smaller than me. I think he weighs 130 pounds. For me, I mean, the lowest I could get to is 150 pounds, but I'm not getting down to 130 pounds. No way. I'm not saying my body can't do it, but 
I'm going to lose a lot of strength. There's no way I'll take that fight. It's just not worth the trouble. That's my guess. That's the best way I can explain it. I think Tyson Fury is just looking at Usyk as more trouble than he's worth. And don't get me wrong, I think I was a bit harsh the other day. Usyk's got a great chance of beating him. Listen, don't underestimate Usyk. He's beating a lot of guys just because he's a cruiserweight. I mean, cruiserweights are still big guys, though. We're not talking about a featherweight. We're talking about a cruiserweight. He's beaten people like Anthony Joshua twice, Chisora. He's beaten a lot of guys. He's got a very good chance of beating Fury, but Fury, something's up with him. He doesn't want to fight this guy. He see, obviously, Fury knows boxing better than I do. I think Fury's just, Fury's very concerned he can lose the fight. Very concerned. Because fighters are not stupid, they know they can lose fights. I mean, Usyk's faster, he's got faster hands, faster feet. I mean, it's a hard, it's a hard fight to predict. Either man can win, but I give Usyk a great chance of winning. Problem is, I don't know if Tyson Fury, I think the problem is Tyson Fury gives Usyk a great chance of winning, that's the problem. So anyway, thanks for watching. I think I've said enough for today. Talk to you guys soon. What do you think though? What, what do you think is going on? As I said, I think Tyson Fury wants no part of him. It's not happening anytime soon. I think Tyson Fury is clearly the problem. He's done this multiple occasions. Usyk's a guy that's fought in military war. I mean, come on. The country Usyk comes from, Ukraine. These guys ain't going to duck you. Fury's the problem. We all know Fury's got a history of doing this. How many times has Usyk gone abroad and boxed people in their backyard? Yeah, Fury's done it, but that was because he had to get the belt. But since then, no, he's done it against Klitschko and Wilder, but he's dragging his feet, man. What happened to the Klitschko rematch? He never wanted to do that. And I'm not, I'm not, please don't think I've got any agenda against Fury. I don't. I'm just telling you what I see. He don't want to fight the guy. I don't know why. He don't want to fight him.